Take a moment, close your eyes, take a deep breath in and out, in and out. See yourself sitting here. And we're going to take our feet, grow from our feet, roots down through the floor, down to the earth, deep beneath our houses. Push them down through the rocks, through the soil, down around the boulders, until we go down and finally reach the bedrock far beneath our houses. And as we reach this bedrock, we'll move around till we find the nice cool pool of water deep beneath the earth. Waters of chaos. And we suck these waters up through our roots, bring them up into our feet and into our legs. Feel these waters come up through our loins and into our bellies. Feel them move up into our chests, to our heads, to our arms, into our hands, back down deep into the earth. Waters coming up, going back and returning. Now, we turn our attention upwards to the sky, through the roots, and grow our branches up far, far into the sky, so we can find that star directly above our heads. And we reach for that light to pull the fires of order down from the star high above us, and down into our branches and into our hands. Feel this light come down into our heads and into our chest. Feel this light mix with the waters as it comes down into our bellies and into our legs. Pull the waters from below and the fires from above and mix them in our bodies, filling us with the energies of order and chaos. The energies of light and water, fire and water, hot and cold. All of these powers mixing within our bodies. Feel it energizing us. And when you are ready, keep what you need to make yourself energized and happy in this place. But return the excess waters back to the earth, the excess fires back up to the sky. To disconnect and bring in your roots and branches. But no, whenever you need to, you can always reconnect the powers above and the powers below and draw on these energies again. But for now, take a deep breath in. Out, in, out, and join us once more, ready for magic. First, we make offerings to the earth man. You who surround us, you guide us, you give us this wonderful thing interesting weather we have been having over the past few weeks. You who provide us food and nourishment. You who provide us a place to live. Earth Mother, for all that you do for us, each and every day, and the sustenance that you provide us. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the gods, and we are here to honor the kindreds, and ask for their blessings in return. Mighty well, you who run deep within the earth to connect us to the underworld, we give you the silver and ask sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow within us. Fire, we will burn and consume. We send our offerings high into the sky, into the heavens, to the shining ones. 
we make this offering and say sacred fires burn within us. Sacred fires burn within us. Yes, there are sacred offerings actually during ignite the incense. A mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth, into the wells of the ancestors far below. Your branches climb high into the sky, the shining ones above. We ask that you connect all these worlds and be the center of our worlds. Sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow within us. and in all of our houses by the light of the water, the light of the spot, bones made whole and holy. By the light of the waters, the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. By the light of the waters, the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. Gatekeepers, each and every one of you that watches over us and have aided us in the past with our rights. You who walk the other ways, you who guard us and guide us, you who will send our messages far and wide, each and every one of you, we call on you to aid us once more, guide us to guide us, and to be our messenger between the worlds. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Accept our offerings. Now, gatekeepers, join your magic of mind. Let the well open as a gate to the underworld. Fire open as a gate to the upper worlds. And let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be open, not only in my house, but in all of our houses. Let the gates be open. Shining ones, gods and goddesses of elder days. You who look over each and every one of us, our matrons, our you. You who we work with on a regular basis. And you who look over us, whether it's known or unknown to us. To all of you, shining ones, accept our offerings. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Land spirits, you have burned feather, scale, and skin, all the animal kingdom. You have leaf and twig, stem and flower, all the ant kingdom. And all of you unseen, and all the names that you go by the whites, the elves, the horse, the fae, and all the many names. To all of you, land spirits. Accept our offerings. Land spirits accept our offerings. Last but not least, ancestors, you of our blood that have come before us and made us who we are today, you of our chosen kin, our friends, saint heroes that have passed, and those of you of our very lands. Are here with us where we live. We each and every one of you, ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. At this time, there are offerings to be made that could be made now. offering with the news that has 
happening throughout Washington. I pray that level heads prevail over all. We have given to you. We give you this one last time in hopes that we may receive blessings from you. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifices. And now we ask what blessings do we receive? Shining ones, what blessings do you give? I give us gurus, the ox, strength, land spirits, what blessings do you give? They give us Gabo, partnership and gifts, and ancestors. What blessings do you give? <laughs> they give us ink, prayers room, fertility. We're given strength from the gods to keep on doing our work. We will get companionship from those fan spirits that we acknowledge and work with. The new things will happen. And the ancestors will make sure that new things, truthful things will come. I think these omens are good. So in my waters and in all of the waters, ancient and mighty ones and good gossip tradition, a gift cause with gift. Fill all of our waters, fill them with gurus, the strength of the odds, fill them with gabo, the partnership and gifts from the fan spirits, and fill us with ingus, the fertility from the ancestors. Behold the waters of life. So now we thank all of those who have made us. Mighty ancestors, be you of our families our chosen friends and heroes for those that live within these bounds for all that you've done ancestors and land spirits the fur and feather scale of skin leaf or twigs stem or flower seen or unseen each and every one of you for all you do within our lives for all the laughs that you give us within our lives. Land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. Shiny ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, you who watch over each and every one of us, you who we work with, and you of our who we live. Each and every one of you, for all that you do, shiny ones. Shining ones, we thank you. Gatekeepers, all you have aided us once more. You have opened the gates. You have took our messages far and wide. We've returned with these lovely omens. For all that you have done for us, gatekeepers, we thank you. Gatekeepers, and we ask that once more in my house and all of our houses, join your magic of mine. May the well become a water once more. May the fire become a flame once more. 
May the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. May the earth mother, you surround us, you support us. You aid us, you feed us, you shelter us. For everything that you do for us, we would not be here without you. So we honor you first, and we honor you last. Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now to the number of peace. This right has ended.